Hi, hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video or today's lesson we are going to code a very complex and sophisticated Japanese cardo stick pattern in this case. So the name of the sophisticated, what I call the sophisticated and the complex Japanese cardo stick pattern is uh, the three inside up stick pattern so basically maybe you have you may or may not have heard about the the pattern in this case however it is complex sophisticated and hard to find for you by bare human eyes so that is why i call it sophisticated in this case so maybe for a startup i can just go by, back to my clipboard and we can just literally try to define what the the pattern is in this case so it is basically a what do i call it a, a bullish reversal pattern so it is a three cardo cardo stick or bar size or bar bar pattern in this case where the first cardo is a long bearish cardo then it is followed by a small bullish cardo which starts which maybe not starts maybe yeah literally it is starts but in this case the in a professional way it opens and closes within the the strong bearish pattern the bar bar in, the, in this case that already formed then it is followed by another another what do i call it another strong bullish cardo stick or bar or cardo in this case where it closes above the high of the first bar and in this case as well it opens inside the the second bar that might might sound confusing however that is why i call it complex and sophisticated in this case so by let me just illustrate it by on the on our board so we have the first red in this case bearish which is now controlled by bears where it opens and closes over there then it is followed by another bullish in this case a small however it is a small cardinal it is followed by another bullish cardinal which is of maybe literally that size in this case eh? like that one which is now inside the first bearish then which is not maybe let me just be done with this one it is inside the like that one it is inside the the, the bearish cardo size or bar or cardo in this case then from there we have another wow this one should be a bullish one then we have another cardo or bar like that one where it is opens maybe for illustration purposes we'll just change the color where in this case now it opens just literally inside anywhere inside this size this bar it just opens inside that bar and it closes i above the first bar and as well hold automatically in this case as well as the i of the second bar so that is how the what did we call it it is now the three inside three inside up which means we have a, another three inside down in this case so just stay tuned we will just know the what the presentation of that cardo size is so in this case this uh, pattern is a uh, based uh, maybe based on the significant the significance of this pattern that we have already drawn or illustrated is that it indicates a potential bullishness by the control of the buyer because the seller controls the market then the buyer jumps in and again she shows the potentiality of the buyer controlling the market with that uh, bullishness so it uh, may be an indication that the trend is changing in this case however it is a it may be rare however we will just know that when we could then on this other side i would like to outline the information that we need so the first information that we'll need is now the time as well as the open high low close for cardo stick 
in this case one two okay not in that manner one two three then we will as well as the, the other code sizes and generally that is all the information that we need then yeah it is generally the the all the full information that we need so let us now get started having understood what the three inside up pattern looks like so just click on the ide little icon over there which will take you which will open the meta editor for you so from there just over to our folder our algo trading folder then click on new then providing the name for our for our file in this case it is not the three uh, inside up in this case i would like to have a gap over there three inside up then click on next next and finally finish then from there the the information that is there we just have uh, we'll just ignore it for the moment then from there we will just go straight ahead and create a function where which we'll just use maybe a function which is basically on the global scope And we will just use this function to, to give the illustration function on the global scope, which, which we will use to give the functions, or maybe the, the conditions where the computer or the program will find the three inside up pattern for us in this case. So from there, we will, I will just create an integer type variable, so function. I'm fond of leaving my caps lock on. So, int, uh, what do we call it? Maybe get get the three, get three inside up. Maybe something like that one. Then the brackets, then the carry brackets to provide the body for our function. Then from there, we just, that is now everything that we need. So, the first thing that we said, we need the time which is now under the data variable date time, then providing the time is equals to, in this case, the inbuilt I time function, where we have to provide in the symbol. The period, we will just use the current period, then for shift cadre number one, in this case. So from there, we need the open, which is now a double double type variable the, that is now open for cadre stick number one is equals to i open okay i open then providing the symbol providing the current period then shift number one for the cadre size number one which has been already formed so i'll just go ahead and copy then paste it three more times then from there I can change this one from open to I, then from I to low, and then finally the close. Something like that one. So open to I, 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 low, then close. Then that is now open, I low close for cadu size number one. Then we'll just have to provide in the information for the second cadu size. So the for the second bar in this case. So I'll just paste it two more times, like that one, and then literally alter. Then from that is now alter the information, the definition for our for our data data variables in this case so open for cadre size number two then just literally we have to just change the information for cadre stick to then bar i mean shift to as well this should be quick then as well as now the information for bar number three in this case so it is something which is now super easy three 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 and finally three in that case then we can now compile it okay we have one error where we just need to provide to return a value since our our function is based on the integer type 
variable. So I will just go ahead and return zero for no zero for no signal in that case. So from there we have another we now literally have the information that we need. So we get no errors, no warnings. So which means we are okay. So from there, what we need now to do is to basically providing the trading conditions. Yeah, maybe something like that one. No, no, for the for the for the pattern that we want to do. In this case, it is the uh, three inside up pattern japanese pattern so from there we have to do this we just uh, need to use the if statements to accomplish the the thing that we want to get in this case so from there what i will do straight ahead from now uh, i will just let us just go back and see the information the, the information that we really do need at this occasion so what we need maybe we can start with cardio stick maybe we can name this one like which color event we used so far we have not used which color okay maybe green so for green i will just use a this is cardio stick number one cardio stick number two cardio stick number number three in that case so what the information that now we need is that uh, the bar sized we can maybe start with in this side from this side in this case so for the red bar which is now bearish for the blue will now take care of the bullish in this case however most of the times it is green in color so uh, just like literally uh, alternated however that is no problem so cardo size number three in this case needs to be uh, a, uh, a bearish in this case so which means that the eye the where is the open so it, it opens over here the open then the close it opens there it opens here and closes what did i do it opens here and then closes over here so which means that the open for candlestick number three should be lower than the should be higher in this case my bad should be higher than the closing price for that same candlestick in this case number three so that is the information that we need the first one then the second one we need to to check that our second bar over here is a is a bullish one then as well as not that maybe you can just go back and document the, the information that we have already got instead before we forget in this case so in just a milestone so we say that open for bar number three in this case now should be higher than the than now closing price for for the same bar for the same card number three then from there the, the information that we need is to check that if the second bar now the so which means that we need to alternate so if bar two the open for bar two is now should now be lower than the closing price for bar number two in that essence then the other information that we need so we just need now to maybe press on tab to move three spaces ahead then the other information that we need now is to compare that uh, maybe we can just go back again to our drawing board and uh, we can just hover over the information that we need we need for this cardo size to be inside the to be inside in this case so bar number two the maybe i can change color for a little bit maybe to black have we used black maybe yeah so we need that the it has to be inside so this is not the open this is not the close open close low okay this is not the lowest point this is not the low 
I'm trying to figure out what we just need. If either we want to compare it between the, the close or the low. In this case, the close could be maybe over here. We do not want such a pattern. So we'll, we'll just uh, compare it to the low, which is now making sense. The, what I'm trying to figure out is that maybe what if in case of a cardo size like that one, where the closing price is just literally something like there. However, it is not a, a, a bearish compared to cardo size number 2 and 3, in this case, 4, 2 and 3. That is what I'm trying to figure out. So what came to my conclusion is that we should compare that one, the open, to the low. That is literally what we want. So as well as now, the I, uh, the I for this cardo stick over here with the close for bar number two that is what we want in this case so we'll just go back again and document that straight away so we said that the open was it really the open the open for bar number two yeah 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 exactly so we just compared to the low of cardo size number three now and as well we compare the close uh, for cardo size number two we compare it to the that is low so in this case it should now be less than the i for cardo size number three if i am getting it right so what did we say here the open for two should be lower than the the open for two should be lower than the No, it should not be lower than the low of three. It should be higher than the low of cardo size number, cardo stick number three. And as well as the low, the closing price for cardo bar, for cardo size or cardo stick or bar number two should now be less than I number three. So yeah, that is not correct. Then from there, the other information that we need now is uh, maybe you can just go back again and check what we do really need from there we just want to check that the what cardo size we have taken care of this one and this one so we need to take care of the first cardo size cardo stick i keep on confusing cardo size and cardo stick so bear with me <laughs> in that case eh? so we just need to compare this bar uh, bar number one in this case so next time i should just literally use bar so bar this is uh, bar number one we just need to compare it it has to be it has to open somewhere in between uh, first thing we just need this bar to be a uh, bullish one so yeah that is no information number one then for it the open so it opens here. It is a bullish cadol. So it opens there, which means it should be the opening should be higher than the open for bar number two. As well as now, the the open in this case should also be what if it opens somewhere here? What if it opens? What if it opens? So it should be, the open should be something like this one. It should not open higher than the I for the closing of bar two in this case. And as well as it should be open, it is, should be just within this bar. So that is three informations that we need to document. So if we check that it is a bullish cardo size or yeah a bullish bar in this case i just keep on confusing so okay so if open for one should now be greater than the closing price for cardo size number one and another information that we need is that the open for cardo size number one now we compare it to the open for two as well so open one should be um, what do I call it 
Mm -hmm. What do we need? What do I call it? So the open for bar number one should now be should be greater greater than open for bar number two, and then as well we needed another information that it should be within that range, within the size of the second bar. So open for candlestick number one as well should now be uh, lower than the closing price for candlestick number two. So from there, let me see if we got uh, everything right in this case. Eh? Is that uh, the open for one should be greater than the closing for that is not a <laughs> wow sorry for that my bad it should be less the open why do i keep on forgetting so open for one the opening should be wow the open for let me just go back <laughs> this should be easier now the open for one should be higher uh, this one opens here and this one we want open should be less than the closing for one should be less yeah exactly should be less to check that it is a bullish one then we need to check that open one is greater than open two yeah then open one is now less than close to yeah which means it is now within the within the size of bar number two so another condition that now we need to check is that now the closing price for cardo says number one the same one it is now higher <laughs> not higher so closing size for the closing price for cardo size number one it should close higher than cardo size number two and as well as cardo size number one so it should be greater than the i for cardo size number maybe number no no not one but three in this case so if it is higher than cardo size number three it as well means that it is higher than cardo size number two so from there we just need to maybe print something to the journal that we found we found the three inside up pattern pattern in this case so from there we just need to maybe return return something like uh, one for a for a buy signal in this case so from there i hope this one is to compile fine then from there the information that we need else is that uh, what the information that we could be needing what do we need to to do maybe from uh, yeah maybe basically from this point maybe i think everything is fine we can now call this one on the on take function so to call our function on the on take function what we have to do is just type in our get three inside up then function then end with a semicolon then from there we can just go to our trading client trading terminal open the strategy tester then we can basically choose our three inside up expert advisor then from there we can click on start so our expert advisor is working fine we are finding the three inside up pattern just as we had anticipated so in this case you can see we cannot clearly visualize our 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 expert advisor or our our pattern in this case so to aid in doing that one what we can uh, maybe basically do is create another function where we can draw arrows on our board 
in this case on our chart in this case so we will just go back and create a, a, what do i call it another function where we just create a, the arrow so we can just create a void function then call it create arrow then the brackets then the curry brackets and everything now should be fine so we can just start off by saying that uh, we want to create object so it is object create function that we use then for chart id zero object name since we'll be using the name severally so we can just go back and uh, maybe we can just provide in the name here the name we can just call it uh, three inside up then from there object arrow then zero for sub do zero then time we can just provide in now the time but in this case i just want to provide the time here so it is date time date time time then from there we can provide in the time now that we have already defined then the price you can just provide in the price over here so double double price then from there we can now provide our price that we have created over there so from there we can just end literally end the our something over there in this case then from there we do not have the properties as you can see in this case so we can just go ahead and run our ea but it will just work but not in a in a more civilized way not in a more professional way we can just play around with the code but maybe in this case we can just go to our strategy test again try to rerun and see where we get the okay it is not being printed because uh, we just have to call our function or just maybe immediately after we print it so just call our function so create arrow then okay <laughs> we just have some things inside that we have to provide so we just need the time was it the time maybe i could just do this again yeah we need the time then from there we need the price now we anchor it at the maybe uh, maybe the low low one of that uh, bar number one in this case so from there we can now try to rerun this again and see where our shabby how do i call it arrow is created so you can see here our arrow is created over here it is not bad you can see this is now the our what do i call it <laughs> our three inside up pattern but as you can see it is not created just the way we want it so to alternate that one to take care of that one we just go ahead and create some variables so to do this one we just say that if our arrow is created then provide a uh, providing some few uh, properties so yeah which property do we change in this case we can change maybe the color of our of uh, of maybe basically our code in this case so to do this we just need to object set integer then id zero then name name we just instead of having to copy and paste this name we can just be like this one we just copy this one maybe just cut then come over here string name do we have an, another name no name is equals to that one then a semicolon so in this case now you can just now provide the name it is more workable in this case i just like it that way so we just want to change the r code then we can just go over help then mql5 references on the index tab on the search box you can type in the wing links 
press on enter then we can find the arrow that you want to create maybe you can go with the, this arrow code which is now 2 233 in this case or uh, which arrow can we go with in this case maybe you can go with arrow yeah 233 is just fine for me so 233 then from there wait 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 what are we doing let me just go back we just need to provide the chart id the name the property then the arrow maybe let me just end it over there and see Okay, then I can just maybe compile it is compiling fine I, I was wondering why is it providing me with another option of maybe setting it to a long value maybe maybe okay we'll just know maybe then from there I can just go ahead and copy this one and maybe change from our code to maybe color so providing the color to maybe green then from there what else do we need to to set what else can we set in this case maybe we can set the wind the wind the wind To maybe five five looks generous to me then yeah basically that is most of the things that we need so from there I could just go back and run on a strategy tester so from there now you can see our expert advisor is working fine in this case so we get the arrow drone on the expert advisor <laughs> uh, we, we just basically get the arrow drone for us as well as on the other end we get the this little what do i call it over here in this case so however this is one this is true this is true however this now seems to be outside our code we did not define this one we just need this one this second cuddle to be inside completely inside the this candle so maybe you can just go back and see why it is doing the opposite so if we were to go back what we need to check is that uh, the size for candle stick number two is okay then we need to check that the open um, we just need to check between cadu size number two and three so the open for in this case uh, and cadu size number two should be let me just go back to the drawing board again should be a lot more easier to see the error in this case so open for two should be higher in this case it should be higher than the low for cardo size number three in this case as well as now the the close the close the close this is open and then the close for cardo size number two in this case now should be less than the i for cardo size number three did we really document that one the right way let me just check so the open for two should be great yeah i think that one is fine open for two should be what is messing up with us now <laughs> you know so open should be higher so it should be greater than the low for size number three however it is not being documented as we want it to be in this case so wow <laughs> what is really not happening because 
it is not exactly what we want so this one is working fine however uh, some we just alternate something over here we, i just want to we just want that our cardo size the smaller cardo size to be just within the third cardo size cardo size number two to be just inside inside it within bar size number three however okay i see i see i see i see i do see now <laughs> okay i do see now our code is just perfectly fine i see so i'll just rerun it again and i can just tell you why that one is happening why i mean yeah okay maybe it is just super quick let me just be able to find another one. so you can see like this one we are comparing it we have cardo bar number one we have bar number one number two and as well as now in this case bar number three however you can see that now the open for this cardo is less is higher than the low of this cardo size number three so our expert advisor is just working fine i am the one who had panicked you know so you can see this one this one and this one the eye we are comparing the low to the eye and as well as now the open to the low and the close to the eye so it is just perfectly fine however if you want to have a a different code you can just play around with the with the setting with the settings for the code that we already have so it is just working fine it is just perfect just as uh, we had anticipated it and as you can see our code is just working fine it is providing fruitful uh, signals in this case so uh, that is just basically everything that uh, you need to know so i'll just end the strategy test over there then i we'll just go back again to our code and see how we really fared on well so just again just with about 80 lines of code we were able to code the three inside up uh, expert advisor by your own it is just something which is easy however yeah it is just something fine to do something pleasing to do so that is all for this video so bye bye till we, uh, we upload the next video till the next lesson so thank you